Music, intro music, intro music, and hi there. Welcome to the Sexperts. I am your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Hayder um, of Delilah's Cherry Farms. Uh, that's right. And we are the Sexperts. Did you know that? Um, you know what? Delilah, once did you know a that? Week, once a week, I'm reminded when I'm slapped upside the head with a big dose of <laughs> sexual expertise <laughs> in the form of this podcast. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Every week we're coming to you live from a different location with a different topic of the week. Uh, you ever walk by people like <laughs> out in public making out or yeah. sometimes even having sex mm. and you just yell at them, you're welcome? Mm-hmm. Oh, me personally? I thought that was a, a general rhetorical question. No, no. No, no, no. I, I do. I do that I too. Do. I'm like, you're welcome. They're like, what you? I'm like, I'm Delilah. Dude, what if we accidentally come up to the same person, maybe from different angles and slap them at the same time and then make their head explode? That would be nuts, <laughs> nuts. But it would make this whole this whole journey worth it. Um, and we're, we're coming to you live. Um, we are actually from a different location. From, well, I'm telling where the location is. Okay. Do you want to say? I want to say. Here you we go. Said. Texas. We're in the Lone Star State this week. Uh, we are in the Mission, Texas. Mission, Texas. That's right. Uh, that's the birthplace of the missionary position. <laughs> yep. Before that. There was only doggy style. <laughs> but then the uh, Catholics came to Mission, Texas and taught them boring ways to fuck. Doggy style. The way Adam and Eve fucked. Mm, ruff, ruff. Uh, that's not our topic, though. You, you ready for our topic? This one actually is coming from uh, one of our um, our fascinating fans, uh, Jeff Ballou. Our topic today, today is sweet, sweet love. Is it bad for diabetics? We'll find out. It's a question that we will answer in the next 20 minutes or less. And honestly, my glucose levels are one I, I you know, <laughs> it's a concern. It's, yeah. Okay. So um, let's quit chatting like two chatty laddie, chatty laddies, <laughs> two chatty laddies. Uh, and let's get to our guest. Hi there. Welcome. Hey there. Hi there. Uh, what is your name? I'm your mom's friend, Karen. That's right, yeah. Well, Karen, here on the uh, the Sexperts podcast, we like to use our last name. So what's your last name, Karen? I'm your mom's friend, Karen Fartdare. Well, welcome, no, Karen Fartdare. No wonder she didn't want to say the first. <laughs> All right. I was bullied for it a lot in mm-hmm. when I first got married. And what year was that, Karen? That was 1991. Yeah. The year... Before my son, Tommy, was born. Yeah, Tommy's a little bastard, by the way, Delilah. We'll talk about him in just a little bit. Uh, anyways. I don't like that word. What? Bastard. I, I had him under the confines of marriage. It was not a shotgun wedding. I got you. I it, got... It, it insinuates unwanted children, and I mm-hmm. think all children should be married. <laughs> Yeah, right. Anyways, Karen. We are the world. I want to remind you that I let you on the podcast because I owe my mom a favor and it's not giving birth to me because you're welcome, mom, for giving birth to me. Um, I, I owe her a and favor. And you're welcome, Mrs. <laughs> Dr. John T. Alanis, <laughs> for teaching you how to fuck <laughs> so you could have him. Anyway, so no embarrassing stories because I know you and my mom were friends growing up mm-hmm. and when I was growing up. We hooked up one time in Catholic wait, wait, school. What? It was it's normal. Sixteen year old girls. What do you mean? I don't wanna do I wanna hear about this, Delilah? My mom hooking up with a, a Catholic school girl? I wanna hear about her background. If that happens to be it, so be it. <laughs> she gave me a peck right on the lips. Oh. It, <laughs> she had been drinking and I was I was babysitting her. You know how she is with the alcohol. She just starts to let loose. And That's well, true. she had put on a genuine thong. And I was thinking a genuine CD. <laughs> <laughs> she put on a genuine CD and we bumped and grinded. Well, yes, we also <laughs> did like listening to genuine. <laughs> but that was because we knew the real genuine. He was uh, in our Catholic school. That makes sense. He sang to us. So what? Decade was this. Yeah, I'm losing track of time here. Well, <laughs> it was late 70s, early 80s. Uh, so if I 
If I'm familiar with Catholic um, penances, <laughs> a peck on the lips from a same gender partner, that's probably mm-hmm. three Our Fathers and two Hail Marys? Yeah, I think so. Did, well, you, did you go to uh, confession? I boiled some holy water and dipped my pinky toe in it because oh I God. felt so guilty. Jesus. That's a great Catholic for you. <laughs> <laughs> See you in heaven. <laughs> We'll have a beautiful kingdom together. Your boiled off toe will be waiting for you. <laughs> and at the root of all this, and I'm glad you were open about this and bring it up. I'm very open about it now. I used to be embarrassed, but my mom loved to drink. Let me tell you, mm-hmm. when they opened the old bird up uh, on the slab after she had died, they said her liver could fit two emperor penguins inside of it. Think on that. Think on that. Wow. <laughs> Rumor has it that... um she didn't have a uterus, so you were incubated in her liver. Is that true? <laughs> it was an experimental You're a liver procedure. Baby. I'm a liver baby. What kind of baby were you, Miss Fart Dare? <laughs> I was a beautiful, wanted bastard child. Oh. I was born in a barn. <laughs> Delilah doesn't like that word. But a wanted bastard. That, that's an oxymoron. A wanted bastard. I was a wanted bastard because I was born breech. Uh-huh. In a barn from a lady named Joanne's uterus. And the minute I Wait, came jo- out, Joanne's uterus or Joanne's uterus? Joanne was, yeah. was my birth mother, but she did not raise me. From Joanne's uterus, I guess. I killed her. Oh. My birth killed a woman, Joanne, but I was <laughs> lucky to be born in a lesbian's barnyard. <laughs> that sounds like the name of a great graphic novel. <laughs> <laughs> Born in a lesbian's barnyard or a Leonard Skinner song? I don't know which one that is. Some people think they're doing well with that silver spoon in their mouth. Uh-uh. <laughs> Lesbian barnyard, that's where blessings happen. I was raised by two women. Oh, great. How was that? It was beautiful. I had one amazing tiger yeah. mom who kept me on my studies. That's not literal, right? What, what does tiger mom mean? It's a, it's a term for Asian mothers. No, she's an Asian lesbian. Mm-hmm. She oh. raised her in the ways of Tiger Woods. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you must have... Tiger's mom was the first Tiger mom. <laughs> yes. Wow, you've I never knew this about you, Miss Fardare. I just I so, yeah. I have a really important question. So Oh wait, can we get to the topic first? No. Well our our topic yeah. is sweet, sweet love. Okay, but that's that's I need to get this off my mind so I can yeah, focus yeah. on the topic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um if two lesbians <laughs> raise an orphan. God. Mm-hmm. From birth, mm-hmm. do they um, lactate? <laughs> and is that a Wait. sign of how much they love you? <laughs> I don't. Uh, who, well, why? I don't get that. Wait, what, well, why? Because usually you associate lactating with having been pregnant. But I think if the lesbians love the baby enough, they will lactate. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not, I, a, I'm not a laxpert. My mothers <laughs> both had double mastectomies. So oh. before they well, you had a sore spot. How do you feel now? But I, that's fine. It just the the milk's colder when it comes out. <laughs> Jesus, wait! <laughs> you can still lactate with a mastectomy. Oh, really? The 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 boob is just the it's a warm tunnel <laughs> that the milk travels through. So you just have to heat oh the milk up God. when it comes out. Is all you're talking to a midwife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the second they're born, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry, Miss Fart Deer. <laughs> well, they 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 would mix their mastectomy milk with the cow's milk from the barn, <laughs> and they would churn it for me until it was a, a buttery softness. <laughs> and then I would gently, they would rub it where their nipples would be, <laughs> and I would gently suckle <laughs> on their nipple holes. <laughs> <laughs> that milky mother butter. <laughs> Delilah, you give me snicker bars. <laughs> Anyways, well, Delilah's giving me a snicker bars. Um, uh, this episode, by the way, uh, thank you for bringing this in. This is lovely. Um, this is some lovely soap. Uh, this is called Ms. Fart Dare's Double Mastectomy Milk Soap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's you can very ta- creamy. You can taste the difference between a single mastectomy <laughs> milk and a double mastectomy <laughs> milk. <laughs> Yeah, it's sort of like two percent versus whole. It's one way that it's part of my charity I run because once a woman loses her breasts, she feels less of a woman. Mm-hmm. But if she can lactate again, yeah, and she can use that product to mm-hmm. to help the world. 
Yeah. Well, then, then she feels like a whole woman again. I'm, I'm every woman was written about the miracle of mastectomy <laughs> lactation. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, <clears throat> let's get back to, I'm not like a men's rights guy, so let's get back to men. Uh, think about Lar- Lance Armstrong, right? Mm-hmm. So kind of the same sort of concept. When he had to lose one of his testicles and eventually both his testicles, think about how that milk tasted different. Hmm? Do you lose them both? One, he? Well, one did. time... I was at a trucker pit stop. I I had what? a I had a minute there where I, a stint as a lot lizard. Do you know what a lot lizard is? Uh, I do, but Delilah doesn't. <laughs> a lot lizard is a derogatory term for prostitute women that mainly get their profits from truck stops. Oh, oh. so like the Walmart mm-hmm. parking lot, mm-hmm. and you're the lizard. Yep. Mostly oral. Yeah. So I was sucking. On the sphincter of a man because <laughs> okay. Okay. he didn't have his testicles uh, and he felt so unmanly. Yeah. He wouldn't let me suck on his pee hole. <laughs> so I, I sucked on his pee hole <laughs> instead. But after after that old Lance Armstrong mm. went out making his milky soap. Mm. That trucker let women, I heard about it, my friend Sandy, she sucked his pee hole and he felt better. Wow. <laughs> it changed his life. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Lance Armstrong uh, is Lance, a hero for all men. Oh, he gets he a lot of bad rap now because of all the steroids and everything, but hey, yeah. Lance, if you're listening. We love you, bro. You saved that man's life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, thank you for the Snickers, by the way. This episode is not brought to you by the Snickers. I just like, I like, I crave them now. I like almond Snickers. Do you really? The The almonds are too long for my taste. Like a nut's got to be just the right shape or well, else I'm not in. If you would like, I have here my almond milk soap. Oh. It's double mastectomy milk mixed with almond milk. I, I, yeah, that's more Delilah's yeah, thing. I would I'm, say cut with. Like, I want it, pure mastectomy milk. <laughs> Once you get that taste for it, like, I was um, I was in the Ukraine once. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was eating mastectomy yogurt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so much thicker and yeah. richer than mm-hmm. American mastectomy yogurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I realized it's because Americans, they cut it with, like, regular milk, cow milk. And Ukraines, they got plenty of mastectomy milk, so they just dump it all into the yogurt god that's so tasty you and ever had very uh, good very good that's why the ukraine is so cold because what? all you know titty milk yeah from <laughs> a lack of titty gets produced cold yeah freezing. frigid freezing cold so there's so much milk being produced in the ukraine that's causing the whole country to be frigid well, those okay. women are essentially <laughs> soft serve machines <laughs> again i don't know why i keep on bringing up men but uh <laughs> they're dairy queens uh, i don't know why why i keep bringing up men but um lance armstrong again uh <laughs> you know he had to take both testicles out he came up with his own sports drink called uh, orchiectomy aid Kind of like Gatorade, but double orchiectomy because he had them both out. So. Is that what it's called? Orchiectomy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, orchi, I think, is uh, from the word uh, orchid, which means uh, testicle A beautiful in Greece. flower. A beautiful yeah. flower of a man. Is that where the flower got its name? Yep. It smells like balls. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of smells like balls, let's get to our topic of the day, which is sweet, sweet love. Is it bad for diabetics? And I'm glad that you brought me Snickers because I'm going to show oh, you a little lab experiment. Okay. That you- well, put a, put a pen a, in. Put a pen in it. But I have a lab experience. Put a pen. Yeah. In that. Okay. I are you still Catholic? Well, I talk to Jesus every night, and I ask him, "Is Catholicism the way that I am supposed to go in my lifetime?" And as far as hmm. I can tell, he's never answered back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna take no news as good news. I don't know though. Sometimes they say that the Lord speaks in, in mysterious ways, so maybe you're missing like a sign. You know. There could be signs all around us. For instance, we're here at a hotel outside of Mission, Texas. I see, I see signs all over the place. You know, like you see this, uh, this dead exit. <laughs> oh my God, exit! It's glowing red at me. Yeah, what does that That's tell a you? Sign of the devil. <laughs> what does that tell you, Miss Fart Dare? I'm, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid, Miss Fart Dare. I don't exit. I don't want to exit Christianity. I, I, That's but, been the one consistency in my life. Nothing else? I, I, what about your men? What about the men in your life? Have they not been consistent, Miss Fartner? Oh, well, as you know, I was acquitted for the murder of Mr. Fartner. 
Oh, acquitted. I thought, I thought you went to jail for a long time. I, I just didn't see you for that, a long time. That was, that was for insider trading. Oh, so that's why I didn't I got see a you for tip. a long time. I got a tip on that that Lance Armstrong <laughs> sports drink, and I invested <laughs> or de- into or it. Or Yeah, I, I invested into that. And so, so, but you you got acquitted for the murder of your hu- husband? Well, I guess I did. So you you didn't do it? I mean, you can tell us if you did, but you didn't do it? Or, well, if I were to do it, uh-huh. I would write an online <laughs> mommy blog <laughs> all about how I would have done it. Would Which it you did. The mastectomy mom blog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. So you wrote an entire mom blog about how you could have done it. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. But you didn't, right? Or. Well, so I only use easy cheese, cheese whiz. Yeah. In my household. Okay, I'm not sure the connection, but keep going. Well, my no, husband, my husband died <laughs> uh-huh. when they did his autopsy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they cut open his brain. <laughs> like All the- he had was cheese whiz for a brain. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But it wasn't easy cheese. Oh. It was cheese whiz. The actual cheese whiz brain. Well, I didn't even know there was a difference. So there's oh, easy you- cheese and cheese whiz. <clears throat> yeah, mm-hmm. and you can you can bring in expert witnesses to testify. <laughs> About mm-hmm. the chemical makeup of the two Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have so much, you know, um, They say knowledge. someone every night yeah. took a little bit of the cheese whiz and just put it into his ear hole and then like hit the can. Oh my and God. If you do that slowly. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't know, but this is what they told me. If you do that slowly over the course of three months, eventually the brain will turn to cheese. Oh my God. This is frightening. This is like one of those serial killer podcasts we've been wanting to get into. I hate this podcast. It's making me hungry. Yeah, I want to get oh, into it. Would you like a cracker? I oh. Have, this is easy cheese, but it's got just a little bit of mastectomy milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Taste it. It's I don't hear a crunch. I, that goes down smooth. <laughs> <clears throat> it um, It's not quite as good as Ukrainian Easy cheese because that's <laughs> pure mastectomy. What's milk. with you in the Ukraine? I had a great time. <laughs> Did you I, go to like a beach in the Ukraine or something? What is that? I just went there on like on a foodie tour where it was 30. all mas- all mastectomy milk. Up, um, <laughs> it's good though. It's great. Thank you very much. Yep, and and it's really great if you're a diabetic. That makes me think of something. Wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. What is? But do you need a passport to get there? And how? How are? Do we need a passport for Mission Texas? No, nah, no, 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 no. Do you need a passport to get to, to Ukraine or what? What's going on there? Like, yes, I need a passport. Okay. Well, I mean, there's been this whole election thing in Russia. Like, how do you? Are you a spy? What? Why do you like to go to Ukraine? I don't get it. What are you doing, by the way? What's your job? Uh, <laughs> I have a cherry tree farm. Um, do you get the the seeds from Ukraine or something or? No, the Ukraine is just purely for fun. <laughs> I'm on to you. Have you I'm ever you. read The Cherry Orchard, the that's, play? Yeah, that's uh, Tolstoy. No, no, not Tolstoy. Chekhov? Chekhov. Is it Chekhov? It's Chekhov, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's a very... Do you, do you know what we're talking about? No, no I never the learned The Cherry read. Orchard. Read it. It's really fascinating. I starred in it. Mm-hmm. It's a... Uh, let's see. Oh, I congratulations. Th- I think it's about like a rich family and like there's uh, the succession of like who inherits something it's or something. It's all these uncles that are everywhere. I remember that. Mm. And the woman... They all have mastectomies. Is, is, is there sisters or is that... That's three sisters. I'm getting... No, I think there's sisters in that are one. Are there... Olga? Probably an yeah. Olga. Yeah. There's you, always an Olga. Yeah. Delilah, you're getting... Are you grasping some of this stuff? Is you, this you, Carmen the opera? <laughs> <laughs> um... Listen, don't get on me about Ukraine. I highly recommend vacationing in third world countries because you can live like a king for like three days. <laughs> that, that is exploitation. And why are you breathing so heavy, Miss Farter? Karen? It's hot in Mission, Texas. Talk to me about Ooh. another another uh, instance you had, um, particularly with my mom. Okay, so... Because that Catholic schoolgirl thing was a little hot. I'm sorry, but the my, night was my mom. of her wedding, she was real nervous because yeah. she'd never taken a dick up the bunghole. <laughs> but as a oh, lot lizard, okay. I took 12 dicks nightly up the bunghole. <laughs> but that's what your father requested for his wedding night six. Wait, my father? Mm-hmm. 
He's never heard about his father. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Did you know my father? I didn't know your father real good. So the only thing I know about my father is he birthed me, mm-hmm. and he liked to do the bunghole thing. Talk to us about that. And he that. was a legendary midwife in his own right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a part, yeah. There's a lot of research that he did, yeah. So go ahead. So but it's, it's wedding night. be traumatizing to you. No, I want to hear it. I think I'm ready. I'm finally ready. Well... Your father, he wanted the bunghole sex for yeah. his wedding night because it was something real special yeah. that he'd been saving up and waiting for. I love a man who saves up to have, have sex with a, lo- a lot lizard on his wedding night. <laughs> Wait, did you have bunghole sex with my father? Well, like, I What had, happened? Your mother got nervous. Yeah? And so <laughs> we did an old bait and switch. What does that mean? What happened? You ever watch an 80s movie? Uh, a Caddyshack, yeah. You know how they'll get the person real drunk and then oh God. you think they're having <laughs> sex with one person, but you don't. So I put on a strawberry wig so I would look like your mother. Oh my God, Karen. I don't want to hear And she this. was too nervous. So, yeah. you know, I just, I put on her wedding dress mm-hmm. and I just put the veil over my face and he saw the strawberry hair from the back, <laughs> behind and I just lifted up the skirt and he didn't know one bunghole from another. <laughs> so I took it up the ass so your mom oh didn't have to. Oh my God. To. Oh, wow, Karen. <laughs> wow, Karen. Karen, 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 Karen. It was just the bunghole, right? You're not like my real mother or anything, like shocking, right? Hey, I'm just impressed your parents did some freaky stuff on their wedding night. Most people just missionary wedding night. <laughs> okay, listen, uh, we do have to get to our, this is, uh, I'm kind of blowing my mind here. It's hot out here too. Um, so we get, I have to get to our topic today, which is sweet, sweet love. Is it bad for diabetics? But I actually, you are. Your look- dad was a diabetic. Are you are you struggling here? Because you look very very hot. Are you you look like you're about to pass out? Are you okay? I get real patchy in the heat. I got red oh, patches God. on on my chest. Oh, I my got God. red patches here. In the, okay, I please just, stop taking off your shirt. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is really hot out here. I, I okay, think, I think I'm lactating. Oh God. Okay, listen. Uh, I think we should go see like a, a, a urgent care or like a patient first. Uh, Miss Hader, Miss not Hader, <laughs> Miss Barter. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show. We're gonna get you turgent here. You do not look good, and put your shirt back on, please. Uh, any last words? Anything you want to plug? Um, buy <laughs> my milk, please. It's in the grocery <laughs> stores. It's in the soap stores. Okay. It's anywhere you can find milk. Is you'll find it there. It's not as good as Ukrainian mm, milk. It's in your elementary schools. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, you can get chocolate. In the carton. <laughs> okay. Just the put, kindergartners really like it. Quit putting it down your pants. Okay. You're now starting to embarrass us, Karen. Okay. Anyways. So we got to go. I'm sorry. We'll put uh, some, you know, the experiment, little science experiment online for the diabetics or whatnot. Uh, but that's it for this experts. I, I'm sorry. We don't, we, we ran out of time, but I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. I'm Delilah Hader. And <clears throat> when life hands you mastectomy milk, make mastectomy cheese. <laughs> See you sex time. Bye. <laughs> That's our show. If you like what you heard and you think it was worth a dollar, join the official Sexperts fan club at patreon.com backslash sexperts podcast. A special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our supporters. Bye-bye.